it's my birthday week and one of my birthday presents was this. Pink is one of my favorite colors and I've been complaining about not having a proper knife to open up any of these boxes. So I'm going to use this knife, open up this ginormous box and show you guys just exactly what's inside. Let's get this out of the box. That's pretty. You guys saw the tray very quickly, very briefly, but you may not have seen everything that I pulled out. We've got four of these. We have four of these. These ones are not powder coated. It's okay. These ones are. And we got a bunch of these. Let's go get this thing installed. We are waiting for the motor belt part to come in, and now that's gonna go over here. Uh, get it kind of small. Pretty sure. <laughs> it's a half rack again. Pretty sure they go in there like that. This bracket is the gladiator bracket. It sits like this on the rail system. And then this is the bracket that basically sits on top like this. So because we have our Trek rack system here, it, the Bodo built rack would sit about right here pretty much. And I want to really try to scoot it up to as close to the front of the truck as possible. So my plan is to mount two of these on the side right here, like this, and then mount the other two right here. Because we have a Trek rack on our truck, I had to take this off and loosen it up and lift it up and slide these two um, fasteners in that will hold the motobilt bracket. I did them here, I did them on the other side, and I also put them up here, if you can see that. A few of the pieces that we ended up getting did not come powder coated. So we have chosen the color red as the accent color for a majority of these things. Greg's over there breaking the spray paint can, and we're gonna spray paint them and then finish the install after they dry. Excuse me, sir, you missed a spot. <laughs> <Good. laughs> oh, I missed the whole thing. Yeah. The original design had these crossbars right here. They went all the way across. One in the back and then one in the front. But for our setup, because we have a rack, it would move this too far down this way. So what I decided to do is put the brackets up here and then I'm gonna take these crossbars and put them like this. So it'll essentially sit on top this way and be supported that way instead. So I don't know if it's gonna work, but I will try it. Very good. I'm attempting to get to the bolt that's all the way back there to tighten it. A bracket is mounted to the bed, but the tray is now in the way, so now I gotta climb under here. We just finished the installation for the motorboat tray. It did take a couple days because we got distracted with other things. It's been like 120 degrees over here in Arizona. It was your birthday. And yes, it was my birthday. Happy birthday to me. Um, <laughs> it's actually been like a birthday week for me. We've been celebrating. That being said, we finally got it done. It looks amazing. We have the accent colors for the brackets. I think it came out really nice. It looks very professional. I like it. The nice thing about this is it gives us a permanent place to put things like our water, our hot water heater, um, all of those things. We have the hot water heater video if you guys haven't checked it out. Uh, we did just put it out, it's the diesel heater. We haven't tried this yet. I feel like I'm doing things I shouldn't. Oh, it's not bending. My drilling skills worked. <laughs> Good news! I probably look a little funny up here, but as you can see, there's a lot that's changed in the back of this truck. There's a lot more that's going to be changing over in the next couple weeks. Uh, please stay tuned for the overlanding video that we're going to be doing as soon as we get everything onto this truck. After we do that, we are planning on doing a subscriber-led overlanding run. So I'm super stoked about that. Give me a minute to. That's if our our bumper. Climb and out. That's if our bumper and fenders arrive. What? That's if our bumper and fenders arrive. Yeah, we're still waiting on parts. Thanks, okay. COVID. And I know some of you guys have noticed a lot of the clothing haul videos and you've been asking, guys, where are the overlanding videos? Where are the Jeep videos? Well, I promise they're coming. We have a lot on the way, but we are waiting for things 
to arrive. So please be patient. If you guys like this video, hit the like button. If you want to see more of our videos, hit subscribe and then that notification bell lets you know when we have new content out. And uh, till next time you guys.